This is the trick to leading with the hips in the golf swing. I'm gonna say one thing right now, it's turning them less. This has become a common fault. And I'm answering this question today from MRD. He said, I have trouble overturning the hips in the golf swing. And I think a lot of us do this. Spinning out is no good. Weaker shots, weaker shots. So welcome to a brand new video. My name's Alex Elliott, a PGA Golf professional and top 50 world coach. I'm here to help you play your best golf. So I want you to slow your hips down. Now that might sound crazy because every single YouTube video out there is telling you to speed your hips up. But I know this for a fact, right? We don't all have the flexibility levels of John Ram, Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy. We just don't. We only play once or twice a week and we can't expect to swing it like that. So we've got to get that model out of our head. Because when I see this, and I hate to see it, it's like we get here, spin out, foom glancing weak shots. And I want to show you how to stop doing that. So remember these percentages. So I reckon right now we have the concept that we should be like 90% hips, really to fire down and really get open into the ball. I then reckon we've got a feeling of like 8% upper body, okay? And then I reckon we've only got the idea of about 2% arms and wrists. Now we have to change that round. For you to become a better golfer, we've got to flip that on its head. Otherwise, you're never going to improve. And I want every golfer to use this concept. So you've got to avoid that. And I know, as I said before, you're probably hearing the opposite advice. You may even have watched a different video just this morning on that different advice. And what, again, I'm going to show you from down the line, we get this. This is that spin out motion because we can't detach lower and upper body. The percentages I want you to work to now, and listen closely, 50% lower body, okay, so hips, I still want you to lead with them, but not take over your golf swing. 30% upper body, and 20% arms and wrists. That is gonna give you a great combination of this in the golf swing. Really simple. When you're trying to improve, we've got to have an objective and a goal of where we're trying to get to. So this is nice and easy, right? Just place two golf clubs down the ground. Okay, do this at the range or, you know, even if you're quiet on a morning like this, do it on the course, just like that. So if you come and zoom in there, I've literally got one for my feet line, which is this one. And then I've separated this one out just by a club head width apart. So the idea I want you to work to, I'm gonna show you how to access this, but you gotta have an idea of where you're gonna go, right? Is all I want you to feel is that your hips are that much open to your shoulders. So it's gonna be like that. We don't have to be like Rory, like this. I can't do it. I'll injure myself and I guarantee you will too. And you're gonna love this drill. This is brilliant. It's really easy. So let me show you how to access that. This drill couldn't be any easier. So just knock your ball off the tee peg if you're down at the range. And you're gonna make sort of four to five reps just doing it without a ball, just hit the tee peg. Um, okay, so really nice and easy. So our problem is these are too overactive. So we need to block them off a little bit, don't we? That's how we're gonna do this. So all I want you to do is bring your right foot for a right-handed golfer back so where your toe is behind your heel, okay? Left-handed golfers would just simply be the opposite way around, just like this, okay? So you gotta think, right? Now I'm turning into this space. I've got all this space to swing down and through. So sort of freeing us up in this area. Now, what you've got to think, you've sort of blocked your hips off here where you can't really overturn those hips if you've got the objective of hitting the golf ball. Can you really see that? Look at that there. Whereas if you stood that way, look at that. I can really spin out of it. So this is what I want you to do. Four to five practice swings, really exaggerated, and what this is gonna train your brain to feel, that these hips aren't as active. You'll do this naturally because of the situation you've set up at address. I love these drills because of that. You get all the business done early on, then you just have to swing. So think about it. All your objective is, right behind left, I'm gonna go into this space, keep in this space, and release through it. This is what you need to do for five practice swings. Look at this. I can't simply overturn my hips. Yes, it's still 50, 30, 20, but I'm creating that scenario. So once you feel comfortable with that, and don't worry if you need 
more than four to five practice swings, you may well. If you need 10, don't worry, knock yourself out. Just do it. Get the right amount of practice swings that's comfortable for you. Then when you are comfortable, get that set up and hit one away. Watch this. <laughs> that was absolutely nutted right out the middle. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn the bell to never miss any of our free simple golf tips.